Do you, Charlie Pearl? You're an animal. Take Vicki Anderson. You leave some pretty good teeth, Marcia. Oh. To be a lawful wedded wife. You wouldn't dare. To have and to hold. Ah. To love and to cherish. I am crazy, nuts, absolutely insane for her. Shut up, Charlie. Till death. <laughs> Do you part? I do. Alec Baldwin, Kim Basinger. <laughs> Too hot to handle. a time in a young man's life. You up there for the gold? Yeah, that right. Well, it's out there. Just wait for somebody to pick it up. When he must face the world alone. He must discover who is the enemy and who is his friend. Both man and wolf must learn the first rule of the wild. Survival. And as they grow, they will discover that the greatest secret of survival is friendship. All he needs is a little bit of kindness. In a land where nature was the greatest challenge, they shared an incredible adventure. Jack London's thrilling story. Holy biscuits! Walt Disney Pictures presents Ethan Hawke of Dead Poet Society and one extraordinary wolf. In Jack London's White Fang, together they found the courage to survive. I want you to make this picture for me, David. But we got a problem. You do solemnly swear that the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Yes, I do. Zanuck wants your name cleared as soon as possible. So what's my name cleared of what? Uh, your profession is that of a film director, is it not? Yes, sir. My clients have reputations to uphold. They're very careful about, you know, who they're associated with. So am I. Mr. Merrill, are you now a member of the Communist Party? Now, Graf has asked the committee to give you this opportunity to explain your past affiliations. Well, there's nothing to explain. I went to a couple of meetings. That's it. Your affiliations and those of others. What others? In 1951, the House Committee on Un-American Activities stole the nation's headlines. They're looking to get that picture in the paper, and Hollywood gets it there. By attacking the creative community of Hollywood. You do what Zanuck said. I did do what he said. You didn't what you pull mean? a picture. Through a campaign of censorship. We need to protect this country from the ideas that they're spreading through their films and their television shows. And fear. Are they going to kill you? Nobody's going to kill me. That's what they do to the Reds. In whose homes did those Communist Party meetings take place? Don't you have an ounce of decency? I need permission to use your name, David. You want my permission to inform on me? In whose homes were some of these meetings held? Why don't you just give them what they want, David? All my friends. God. I'm being followed by the FBI everywhere I go. You're dead, David. D-E-A-D, -E dead. I want to know how many communists you knew. I want to know how many you know. I want to know how many you've worked with. I want to know their names. From the beginning of motion picture history, Hollywood has tried to show you what the afterlife is really like. Good afternoon and welcome to Judgment City. Do you have any idea what's going on? No. Well, in a nutshell, you're here to defend your life, and I'm going to help you. Defend my life? Finally. Wow. 
the first true story of what happens after you die. Where am I? Is this heaven? No, it isn't heaven. Is it hell? Actually, there is no hell. Although I hear Los Angeles is getting pretty close. Get close to Lost in America's Albert Brooks and two-time Oscar winner Meryl Streep in Defending Your Life. This is damn exciting stuff. But to defend his life, he's got to relive it and all the things he goofed up. I cannot take the job for under 65 under no conditions. I'm prepared to offer you $49,000. I'll take it. And all he has to fear is fear itself. So I'm on trial for being afraid. Well, first of all, I don't like to call it a trial. Second of all, yes. Defending Your Life is a heavenly comedy. That's amazing. Romantic <laughs> and funny. Two wonderful hours. Maybe in three years I can double my income. Good luck. In which your belly will ache with laughter. Two thumbs up. Didn't anyone ever tell you you carry yourself very stiffly? Leave me alone, I'm dead. What the hell is this? It's Albert Brooks. You make me think of my little poodle. Meryl Streep. I think I might have been a heavy set man at one time. Rip Torn. Most people love it. Solomon makes nauseous. Don't worry about it. Lee Grant and Buck Henry. I can't believe it. Wrap it up. In a comedy by Albert Brooks that you'll get a charge out of. You're in for the ride of your life. Defending your life. Comedy to die for.